So, Lewis, I should probably say welcome back to Canterbury. It's and our third interview of the year. It's, it's been fun, we're like family. Yeah, we? we are, we're like best buds now. Yeah. So, how, how have you been? I, I um, guess I'm pretty busy. Yeah, really, really busy, but um, really, really good. Good. Um, it's really good to be busy. So yes. To link the two together. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. So, as I understand it, you're on tour at the moment. You've literally. Went yeah, we started yesterday in Bristol and we're on tour supporting by Polar Sunshine, who's like ridiculously talented. So, it's really fun. It's, it's, it's going to be, I think so far, even though it's the first day and it's like my favourite in uh, my favourite interview my favourite tour oh so well, thank you <laughs> yeah, it's my favourite interview everything this week is just my favourite but so, yeah it's just, uh, it's it's really last night went ridiculously well yeah. so it's um, it's beginning to all come together and mm. take shape and the sound that I've got is beginning to take shape and we're feeling really happy about it so how was um, the crowd responsive to you in, in terms of, because obviously they're there to see Bipolar Sunshine, so yeah. with, with the support acts, it's a bit like, it's a bit hit and miss, so it's how was that? cool, because usually when you expect, when you see a singer-songwriter, you expect to see, like, them supporting another singer-songwriter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you expect, oh, right, well, he's going to be a little bit like this, because this is the, but Bipolar is quite electric, and he's got a band, mm. and, you know, they've got a, a Drummer, bass player, electric guitar, and bipolar singing on his no instruments. Yeah. And that's quite heavy compared to what I do with just a piano and a guitar. And um, there was a band before me playing as well as the, oh, okay. the open act. So you wedge this singer songwriter in between two bands and you can get lost. Yeah. It can be a case of, well, we're quite upbeat because we just had a band going mm -hmm. and then you come on and sing your songs about like emotion and stuff like that. <laughs> And then someone else comes on and we're really high up again. Yeah. It it wasn't the case of that. It's we carry it through to bipolar sunshine. We oh, keep good. the energy up where it needs to be energy, but also mm -hmm. I get to do my songs with the big vocals and the big sort of emotion. And last night I really worked with the crowd. They really respected it and they what's good is that because it's me and two bands. Yeah. Everyone remembers the the singer songwriter who was plonked in the middle of the two bands, yeah. and they go, "Well, that was something a little bit different to break up from band, band, band." Okay, so fair point. Yeah. It's it's um it's really it really complements each other, and we're really enjoying playing with each other. That's good. So you're going up and down country with. with, with yeah, we're going person. up all the way to Scotland and then back down. Jesus, that is a mission. Is that yeah. in a few weeks or is that months? Um, it's in the next two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. It's pretty hectic. So it's it's going to be a busy, busy couple of weeks. Yeah. So as I understand it, because I, I follow you on Twitter, you're like, you, you're on a mission to get twenty thousand followers. <laughs> yeah. How well are you doing with that? I've got like nineteen thousand, so I'm I'm getting there. Like, I reckon we'll be there by Christmas, okay. hopefully. What's Maybe. the plan when you hit twenty thousand? Like, because obviously no, it's, it's might, a big deal. We might so. get to Nando's, like. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> What, and take all 20,000 yeah. of your followers with you? Yeah, my little guy. <laughs> Table for 20,000. Can imagine that? That'd be pretty good. Um, no, I don't really know. Like, It's not so much a big deal for me anymore because I feel like when it happens, it will happen. Yeah. Like, If people like the music, they'll share it enough for more people. And I'm more fully aware that in the long scheme of things, it doesn't actually mean too much. Like, What matters is that there's people listening to the music. Exactly, yeah. That's now my main thing. I think it's because I was younger and I was like, oh, look, like, yeah. I could I could hit this. And, and I don't really set myself targets anymore. I just sort of write Go songs. With it, yeah. And that's my main my main sort of goal is to write better songs than the last songs I wrote. And then uh, hopefully that will mean that more people listen to the songs and that will, you know, follow them come and go and listen and yeah. um, it's, it's all planned. So have you had more, more like exposure since the last time I talked to you? Um... Yeah, we, it's kind of a little bit behind the scenes at the moment because yeah. we did um, we did our publishing deal and with that came a sense of growing up. It yeah, was can imagine. a sense of, well, they saw something talent-wise in me that I hadn't seen. Mm. And uh, I started working with these really talented writers and really talented producers to find what they knew I already had, which was 
my main instrument is my vocals compared to some people who can play the guitar fantastically well yeah. or play the piano fantastically well or some bands are really tight and they've got really cool sounds that they sample on drum kits but yeah. my main instrument is my voice and hopefully the next couple of releases you'll see that we've really focused on that we've written songs to complement that and we've written melodies and the songs to complement that and it's it's something that we had to get rid of everything we've done before to get rid of any comparisons to say like Ed Sheeran and Ben Howe yeah because there's been a lot of that going around yeah recently. and we, we got rid of it and we were like look you're going to now see that next time we release something it's all about well this guy sounds like himself and mm -hmm. he's he's smashing it sort of thing and that's that's the only thing we can hope for that it doesn't matter how successful or you know whether it's got 20 more thousand followers because it came out and it was listened to by everyone yeah. it's the fact that we're, we're making a really cool journey we're making a really cool sound that we like and hopefully other people will get that and whoever gets it will be all grateful for them yeah so have you got set a timetable out for releasing things because I know you've been releasing things <laughs> like slowly but yeah so, um, we've got one thing up on YouTube which is the song that I played first the PE yeah. song um, that's the only content we've got up um, and there'll be some more stuff in early next year Wicked. But until then, it's very much we just want to get things right. Yeah. And there's no, you know, there's no rush. It, everyone thinks that you have to be going with momentum. But if you put things out too quickly and it's not right, you only really get one it? chance yeah. in the music industry. You can't go, oh well, we did that wrong. Mm. Let's take it back and then sort of put it out again in a month because everyone knows it's out then. So it's, you know, when, like you say, there's nineteen thousand odd people there. Yeah. You can't go you didn't see that we're taking it back so. yeah because that was like 20 what like a thousand people could retweet it in like yeah. 10 seconds or something exactly something, and something it's, crazy it's, like that. we're really really trying hard to make sure that what we have is right mm -hmm. and and we're getting there it's, it's exciting at the moment it's a really exciting time but it's all about patience oh yeah definitely but it's nice that you, you're bringing everyone like into it it's nice to be a part of it to, to yeah man i yeah. I just enjoy it. Like yeah. it's it's all about for me. It's all about writing the songs yeah. and and making good music. And it used to sometimes I set myself targets and like I said, but it is now just making music and and trying to better that music the next time I come round to it. And I think we're we're getting on a good journey at the moment to do that. Cool. So. Well, the big question is, did you bring your penguin on tour again? Like, yeah, he's in the car. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Oh, I can't, I can't believe you didn't bring him this Gandalf, time. Gandalf, he's, uh, he's chilling in the car, he's watching the stuff for us, watching our rucksacks. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's got a beanie this time. Has he? Because the storm, like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's properly prepared. Like, I, we've I got matching beanies. <laughs> nearly blew away. Yeah. Like, walking just to here as it is. It was a bit crazy. It's a nightmare. Yeah, like my hair is gonna, it's just, it's not, it's not gonna go right today. <laughs> I've put a hat on, so, oh, well, I haven't it's I don't own a hat, I'm not a hat person. I'm really, really not. No, I've Very got, good. I I've, recommend. Got, I've got weird ears, so it doesn't it doesn't really work. <laughs> it, does. it. it doesn't work. So, Lewis, thank you so much for talking to Thanks me. So I'm really me. excited to see where you're going on your journey. So, do keep us updated. We're stoked and next. That's, that's stoked. I'm talking about like the big wide <laughs> journey of you releasing music, but it was really yeah. nice to talk to you. So, thanks, thanks for coming so down again, again and enjoy your, your set for tonight. Yeah. Cheers. Thank cheers. You.